Seven years ago, near the same site, Rajiv lit the funeral pyre of his mother, Indira Gandhi, after she was gunned down by her Sikh bodyguards. And in a ritual that dates back centuries in India, the Gandhi family will return to scatter the ashes in three days. The Doyle has passed the government motion to set up a tribunal of inquiry into allegations of malpractice in the beef industry. Replying to the debate on the terms of reference for the inquiry, the Taoiseach said they were giving it the opportunity and scope to look at every possible aspect of the allegations, and he promised that the state would provide any resources it needed. Earlier, Mr. Hohe challenged all those who'd made allegations to come forward with their evidence. As well as full official cooperation, the tribunal must receive the full cooperation also of all those inside and outside this house who have over a long period felt free to make allegations of all kinds about the affairs of the Goodman companies and about political favoritism. This is the moment of truth. They must now come forward with their evidence or have the decency to say publicly that they cannot substantiate their allegations and withdraw them. Members of this House in particular have a clear and unequivocal duty to make available to the Tribunal any information or evidence relevant to the inquiry and to answer questions by the Tribunal as freely as they have made their allegations in this House. They must also indicate the source of such evidence as they put forward and how it came into their possession. A woman and a British soldier have been injured in a bomb explosion in North Belfast this afternoon. The RUC say the device went off at a house at Strath Eden Street in the New Lodge as a joint RUC and British Army foot patrol was passing. It's believed their injuries are not serious. The South African government today freed seven ANC political prisoners who have been on hunger strike since May the 1st. In a statement, the Justice Minister said the release was ordered on the advice of doctors. A two-day conference on township violence has begun in Pretoria, but the meeting, which is being snubbed by the ANC and other groups, took on new urgency after the deaths of four people in the Sabakan township last night. And that's it for now. Our next news is The Sixth One with Sean Dignan and Anne Doyle. Good afternoon. We hope you're enjoying this afternoon's viewing so far here on RTE1 and if you've just joined us you're very welcome along as we continue now with drama on Sons and Daughters.